My name is Salva Dut, and since 2005, you've been supporting us to make a great impact in this community of South Sudan. You all know the well that we've been put down make a great changes in their life, and the new well also are going to make a great changes. We all know that without water, no human life, and we do it just for the love of water. The first time that we drilled the well here, the life was not good, it was terrible. Look at you, you should be proud of you of what you did. You have garden here, a small garden. You have beautiful uh, market here. Also you have church and we have uh, a school as well. The well we're going to drill is to give it to other brothers and sisters who are neighbors who don't have well. Who is going to do the development is all of us together. If you are given a well, you need to take care of it. So when we come back, we need to see the well is doing its own purpose. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. We walk some distance to come and collect water from here. Because we are very far away from this uh, well. Kids are left alone at home while you are here uh, fetching water. I'm requesting from Water for South Sudan and the donors to give us more than 20 wells if possible. The difficulties that we are facing is the lack of water. Even some people are very interesting to make a garden, but we have no enough water. We have so many villages that come and collect water from this well. And if you guys came here from Water for South Sudan, we are asking you to give us more well. Today I'm hoping that your coming will bring more development to this area. Especially when you bring water, we will have more, some more garden around. Oh, the hand pump give me the independence. Unfortunately, this year, the hand pump is only one. There's a lot of people coming here to take a lot of water, so she doesn't get that much time uh, to irrigate all those plants that she's planting. Without well, she couldn't make it to have this garden with all those greens. She sell them, she get the benefit from it, she let her kids go to school. That's the impact that it happened from this well. He did plant mango trees and then lemon, and he sell them also. Uh, he says when he sold them, he get 100,000 South Sudanese pounds from this. And it's because of this hand palm that drilled by water for South Sudan. He has used 100,000 because his kids were sick by malaria. And then he took them to the hospital and then he paid uh, for the medicines. I did, did ask him how long you want to do this. And he said, well, I actually want to do it for the rest of my life. This is the result of the well that we drill. Now he's able to plant this tobacco to sell it in order for him to support his family. Today is a background for building construction and they are looking really forward for members to come here and see their community and see what they brought in their life. Community are very glad to receive a team coming to establish the water. 
gathering gifts from the school. In Wunti village, uh, the community has prospered. As you can see behind me here, there is a church. A few years ago when we came to drill this well, there was nothing at all. But pe people are so eager to develop and develop their area. In terms of sickness, did this borehole help the community? Yes. How about hygiene, the people hygiene? Yes. And I hope the school is helping the community to teach people how to take care of themselves. Yes. What do you do in this shop? I'm selling some medication over here because people are in great need. There are two reasons why people get sick here. This area is close to swampy area, so the malaria is very common over here. And also, people are not getting, especially the kids are not getting good food. We are currently in Majong Abu village. And this is the market for the village. As you can see here, we have different type of goods. And also is the gathering point for the young men. As you can see here, they are playing dominoes. This is the development that happened because of this well. The well is also helping the cows. As you can see, uh, the small cows are drinking from here because they don't have to walk a long distance to go and get water. Lord, after the well was drilled, she started uh, building her house. It's a concrete house, as you can see. And also because of the well, she managed to grow some mango trees. That is one of them right there. And she's also growing some vegetables around the well. Yes, uh, she said, after I finish building this house, I will think of what to do next because I want to do more. Today we are here with all our equipment to do the uh, groundbreaking and we are hoping that in a few days we will uh, have the project completed. Everyone want to show an example and say that you have a good job. That's the chief of the village. We are in an area where there is a lack of water, and I'm glad that uh, we are getting water. I'm hoping that whatever you brought to this community will be sustainable. She said she's really excited that to have a water here, and now her world has been liberated. And the water was a problem, but now the water is going to be just beautiful. Uh, we are hoping that we are getting some more. Wherever we came from, we are hoping for more help. <laughs> to know, I know that uh, God is protecting all of us, wonderful South Sudan and the community here. And I'm glad that all the well, what the well did is uh, very good because it helped in development. That is why we have a school and the church. Pachijal, you're in my jungle, boy. Why are you doing this? You're calling Pachijal, Lord, Mommy. I'm not your jungle, boy. What do you want to tell uh, the donors who donated money? Uh, thank you. I want to tell them. I thank you very much. I just want to give you thanks for what you have done and I'm hoping that God will bring us together again so we can do some more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.